Today I will show you how to do a filming plan for a typical hotel. And you need to remember some simple steps. For example, the first one, aside the vertical elements, and then the last one should be estimate the size of each element. First of all, I will give you some typical uh, layout plan like this one. And then you need to assign the vertical element first. This is the first step. Remember, normally the vertical element will be between two rooms, two uh, guest rooms, and also near the uh, staircase or core wall, you try to put the structural elements. This is a simple way to uh, provide the structural stability. After that, you just need to connect all the um, core walls and uh, shear walls together. We say the beams is called main beams. This is used to resist the wind load and resist the vertical load. Remember, the vertical elements should be assigned in two directions, like this one. If you assign in purple color, for the structural filming plan, we will have a dot line normally, and this means we will see it below the slab. After that, we normally we assign the secondary beams, and you need to imagine normally about 2.5 meter to 4 meter we need a secondary beams and then we just fill in these two for the bay below and fill in one due to the dimension given and this is you can see the filming pan like this after that you just need to assign the slab normally in Hong Kong and for reinforced concrete this is 115 and then they will normally span to 3 meters that means this is good enough to assign the slab normally we will put 150 next to the slab. This is the legend to show you this is a one-way slab. This means the loading is going to the top and to the bottom. And then if you go to the hotel normally you will see the pipe that will near the exit wood and the wood tank. That means they can easy for maintenance. For the pipe that normally for the structural element we just provide an opening for them Finally, they will evacuate the board wall and then all the pipe can pass in through this one. Uh, if the workers find any leakage, they can easily stand in here and open the door and they can do the maintenance. And other step is the sun can slab. Normally, uh, we have an experience for the water leakage in the past if we cast all the pipe inside the slab. Nowadays, there are, there are improvements. Now this the slab will be lower down a little bit, we call it sunken slab. And then all the pipe will be constructed on the top of the slab. And this means we can easily identify the leakage location and then we can easily repair. In the past, all the pipe is cast between the slab and it is difficult to locate where it is leakage. And then the filming plan will be like this one. This is the means the upper level, this is mean the lower level. And then we draw something like this, is mean the sunken slab. And then the last step, you need to estimate the size. Normally for the engineer, they have a wall from base on the span that way. So for the continuous beam, normally we divide the, the factor is 15. For the simply support, we normally we divide it by 12. And canning lever we divided by six. For example, how, how can we deal with the this formula? Normally, for example, if the span is nine meter, if we think this is a continuous beam, we just divide it by fifteen. We can say the depth is minimum six hundred. Okay, we try to do it how do some example for you. Now for the slab, the first one you need to understand normally is one hundred fifty. That means there's no wall from you just need to remember. And then for secondary beam like this one, they like this one they span nine meter. And then we say this is a continuous. Two beams connected together we call continuous. And then we can easily find out six hundred will be the depth we require. Assume this is three hundred width is good enough for the secondary beams. The same principle applied for the main beam. But normally we need to increase a little bit for the main beam because we need to allow 
the main beam to take the wind node. That means we let it to say it's a 700. And then for structural wall, 200 to 250 is good enough for the uh, typical residential building for the reinforced concrete. And then we just provide this session, and then this is session uh, causing AA, and then you can see the opening for the pipe passing through, and then you can see the slab the lower down a little bit, just 50 for the uh, casting of the pipe. Oh, thank you.